What's going on everybody? My name's Tenebris Infinite and with the latest update for Generation Zero, we've seen some of the most hidden features in an update yet. And not only are there a bunch of them, but they're also some of the best hidden features we've seen so far. So today we're going to go over four of the best hidden features from the bunch, some of which the community knows and have talked about, and some that haven't been noticed at all. But whether or not you knew about these hidden features, I primarily just want to give thanks for some of these hidden additions, because they are seriously game-changing. Now one of the first hidden features, and one that I haven't seen anyone talk about, is the fact that you no longer take any damage at all from blowing up doggo fuel cells. This is huge, my dudes! And though you still take damage from other machines' fuel cells, I feel it's fitting for doggos not to cause damage for a bunch of reasons here. Firstly, it makes a better process of easing new players into the game, especially those that pick up the dilapidated baseball bat in Itervik, as this has the biggest impact on melee-style playthroughs and builds. With that unnecessary self-damage from destroying fuel cells out of the way, there's one less thing to micromanage with melee play, which leads to it being more fun and rewarding. Now, I've tested this pretty thoroughly, and every doggo all the way up to Apaco doggos no longer cause self-damage, but all the other machines will still cause damage if you destroy their fuel cell. On another note of how this is beneficial, with doggos, they're the most likely machine where you will be destroying their fuel cell within an extreme close proximity, close enough that it will actually cause damage to you. What with their fuel cells being the really obvious component to go for when you want a quick kill, and their AI generally leading them to want to get close so that they can do their charge attack, it just leads to better feeling combat with these enemies in particular, where you don't feel punished for playing the way the game is meant to be played. Now, I don't think that we should remove self-damage from all of the machine's fuel cells. I feel like it makes a lot of sense, especially with harvesters and tanks. But maybe with the doggos and the hunters, we could see uh, self-damage from destroying fuel cells no longer be a thing, because those two enemies are the two that you're most likely going to be within a really close proximity to when you're fighting them. Now next up is another massive addition to the game. Uh, previously, we found out that hoods for cars could be opened, and we speculated pretty heavily on what that could mean for the future. So what it turns out that meant is that we have a new loot source in the game. That being car engines. And within car engines, you can pick up everything from explosive canisters, little bits of scrap steel, uh, car batteries, and compressed air canisters. Great, great resources, and an excellent source of trap resources, which honestly are few and far between in the game. This is really excellent, my dudes. Not only does this add a new immersive way to loot things in the game, where you can kind of really endeavor into how the character's going through the looting process, but it also offers the opportunity for trap materials to be gathered much easier, which is, again, excellent. I always have felt that trap play in Generation Zero could be boosted, could be benefited, because it's a lot of fun to set up traps and build traps in the game. So uh, having new resources to pick up EMPs, explosive things, and smoke screens is really awesome, my dudes. Now next up is one that I don't need to talk about too much, but is something that's really awesome to see in the game. That is a new form of medkit, a, a higher tier than advanced medkits themselves. Now this might just be an easter egg towards uh, Hunter Call of the Wild, but personally I think it's a great addition nonetheless. Having a medkit that is even stronger than the advanced medkits is incredibly useful because once you have your health maxed out, advanced medkits start getting pretty expensive to get a whole bunch of them. And it's just great to see a new medkit added to the bunch so that you can have a strong medkit and then a really strong medkit for your character with maxed out health. 
Now, in the future, I think it would be awesome to see this medkit actually be craftable. Uh, it would be really cool to see you take a simple medkit, a standard medkit, and an advanced medkit, and just kind of slam them all into one super medkit that you can then take around and use for your really beefy character. Sadly, in Generation Zero, being dummy thick is a blessing and a curse. And lastly here, one of the best additions in this update, hands down, is all the freaking resources, my dudes. So basically, everything in the game has a resource count now, unless if it's an easter egg item or a kind of special event item, you'll be able to see a resource count that goes towards that item. Now this is massive for a multitude of reasons. So first and foremost, it makes gathering resources easier, which is just kind of like a, a, a simple stupid kind of thing, but it's, it's awesome to see us have the ability to gather things like explosive and steel and lead and copper and all of these different resources, tungsten and electrolyte and stuff like that, uh, through various mediums in the game. Not just from killing machines, not just from looting things, but also from the things that we loot themselves. And then on top of that, it also adds like a huge amount of worth to items that were previously worthless. Do you happen to have like 250 fireworks and have no idea what to do with them? Scrap them, turn them into resources that you can use for something else that is more worthwhile to you. Do you have an absurd amount of adrenaline and find that you aren't dying very often? Scrap all that adrenaline, get it out of your inventory, get it out of your plundra, and instead turn it into resources that you can use for something else. Or maybe you have a shit ton of 32 ACP rounds because you just got out of the, uh, <laughs> the archipelago. So maybe you don't want to carry all of those ACP rounds. You could scrap those ACP rounds break them down to the raw resources, and then use those resources to craft yourselves an ammunition that you actually use in the game. It's the exact same thing that I said when resources were added to weapons and you could break down weapons into various resources. Just adding this extra layer of depth and extra layer of worth to things in Generation Zero is an excellent thing to see in this game, and something that I hope we'll see moving forward as new items and new weapons are introduced into the game. So there you go my dudes, four hidden features from the latest update to Generation Zero that I thought were extra excellent. Is there any sort of hidden feature that you've maybe found so far from the latest update that maybe nobody's talked about yet that you want to kind of shine a light on? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you know about these features, or are some of these new to you? Uh, also let me know that stuff down in the comments below as well. As always, you dudes know that I love to hear what you dudes are thinking about. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, hopefully you dudes enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.